hi guys welcome to pyjango tutorials so as you know in the last video we have successfully created a registration system so that user from our react application can fill in the form and register to our backend successfully or in our database successfully in this video we will hit a login api and we'll see whether we are getting the success response or token and all and all these sort of things so these all things we'll learn in this video. So let me just give you a brief uh, intro of what we are going to create in this video. So I have this email here and password for this is react123456. As I hit login, you can see I get this message login successful and this token as well and this user detail. In user detail, we have email of the user and ID of the user. This token, we will store it in somewhere in HTTP only cookie or somewhere and we'll use this token for the subsequent API request so that we can authenticate that yes, this user is a genuine user and we can send response access response to this user. So these all things we'll, we'll be doing in the coming videos. But for now, we will hit our login endpoint and test it out. So let's get on with the video so as we have created different component for register similarly we'll create a different component for login functionality as well so i'm going to name it login.js and rfc okay so let's test this right now in our app.js i haven't set up any react router so once i set up this uh, once i set up that we can you know uh, render different components on different url but for now i'll just use simply i'm gonna remove this so i'm just gonna return login if i go to login page so this simply returns a login most of the things i will copy from this or I can copy from this. So what I can do is just copy this, come back to my login and I can return this. Uh, I can remove different fields. So like I don't need first name and last name. I just need email and login, uh, uh, email and password basically and the login button. I'm going to name it login and our form is ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah we have to import these things as well that form data is not defined okay 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 got it got it so basically i just have copied right so this handle form submit these all things are not uh created as of now i can just remove them or what i can do i can create function as well or i can just copy it from here because most of the things will remain same so I can just handle form summit is okay. I can get state variable as well on these two things as well. Because these all things will remain similar. It's just we want to send different data. That is we don't want to send first name and last name. Email, email and password will do the trick for us. And this should be, let me just verify this from our URLs. This should be login. okay now i think all error must be gone okay we have to import use state okay now we get our email and password so we are uh, ready to make the login request to this url and rest all things remain similar so let's like uh as you can remember in the last video we have created something test at the rate gmail.com and password was test email one two three okay email or password is invalid that means our request is sending correctly it's just that our email and password is wrong. That's why we are not getting a success login. 
So one thing we are sure of that our APIs are working and I actually honestly I can't remember any passwords or email for that matter. So let me just open admin panel. Let me just get the correct email at least. So it was test. I remember email uh, password for this user. So let's use this. And this was I think one two three four five six. No still it was well, this is strange actually. I don't remember the password. Okay, let me type react three four five six. Yes, so that was the password. Sorry about that. So as you can see, when uh, I successfully log in or when the API endpoint successfully returns, then I get message login successful and token and the user detail. So you can see in the user detail ID is 5 and email is uh, this. So uh, I have sent ID because we will follow somewhat similar logic uh, like we have used in our WhatsApp flow and for that I need ID somewhere. That's why I've already sent it after login I, I will store it somewhere in the local storage or cookie or index db anywhere so uh, we'll use that accordingly and similarly we will use uh, store this token as well in the http only cookie so that it is secure and uh, cannot be exploited so uh, from the next video uh, we will start implementing react router so that we can navigate to different components and we will enhance our ui somewhat so that after success login we return to some home page and we will start creating ui for chat application and then gradually we'll move on to channels as well so now we are uh, coming to the core of the project so i hope you guys are all excited like i am and like guys please do like share and subscribe so that most of you or many of you or more number of people can join to this community and uh, this learning experience can be enhanced a bit more so that we all get to learn something new and something exciting so please do like share and subscribe and share as much as possible and that's all for this video from the next video we'll officially start with ui and all so See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.